humble abode. Okay, well I really wanted a super bright kitchen. So I decided to keep it super classic with the white and gold that is coming very back into style right now. So all these fixtures were supposed to be silver, but I switched them to gold, which have actually been really good at just like accentuating like a lot of other stuff in the place, like my chairs and stuff you'll see like later on in the video. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through a few of like my favorite like drawers and cabinets. Uh, if you guys want to see like a more like detailed view, just comment below and I'd love to make a whole nother video of all my organization tips and all that. But just in this drawer is kind of just like snacks and all that, all organized. Um, these containers are awesome. They actually, I will show you an example here, but um, they're just like all like pop-ups. So basically it just sections it and then that way nothing ever goes old. So even like cereal and all that will actually last a lot longer in those than it would in a normal box. Okay, um, I am not really the greatest chef and I hate cooking, but I do enjoy baking. So over here is kind of like my baking section. So I have KitchenAid, which has been great. Also, this is just a little thing. I don't even know random stuff is written on you right now. Um, but it was really cute. It was from the container store and I just really like the acrylic and it's just like with a white pen. So you can write whatever you want, like day to day or whenever. So above here is kind of just all like my baking stuff in the same containers as the other one. And then down below, I mean, I'm always into cute things. Who isn't? So I think in this drawer here, yeah, it's just a bunch of little baking uh, things that are in the cutest colors. These are all from actually Superstore. This is my kitchen table area. This chandelier is like awesome. I really wanted one from brand CB2. It was definitely a little bit pricier. So I actually found this one from Jocelyn Main and it's been great. This table is from CB2 and I actually bought a matching one that will go in this other area that you guys will see next. But unfortunately it just hasn't shipped yet, but it's the exact same one. And I really liked the modern of the bottom part of the table just to tie into the gold and the black. The chairs here were also from Wayfair. You can get them on Just Main too. I will link them also. But these are actually great and pretty sturdy considering the price point and all that. Okay, well above here are all these prints, which I do need to find the website for that as they were amazing to deal with and super, super good price point. But I really like the black and white just to like tie into everything else since we don't really have much color except for in like one of the bedrooms and this couch is great but it actually wasn't that comfy so this lounge thing it's kind of like a rug but kind of like a sherpa is actually from costco of all places and i just really like the color because white would get too dirty and black was a little bit harsh so i would really recommend this and then these chairs are great just for like when we have people over i actually stole these from my parents so I would have to get back to you on where they're from. And then this side table, I absolutely love the texture. It was on sale for $40 from HomeSense, so I had to get it. And it actually fits perfectly. Another thing I would really recommend is for blankets, just so they're not all over the place. I just got when I got this big bin from HomeSense. And I really liked how even though it's this sort of texture, it actually doesn't really like grab onto things or like snag the blanket. So that's been really good. Um, yeah, and then I just like fold them up and it's super nice to have in the main area. Okay, and this was my patio. Um, I haven't really gone around to decorating yet just because the weather hasn't been great. So that'll be another video. But uh, yeah, we actually have a really nice deck size for a condo, which has been amazing. And yeah, I will definitely do another video when it is properly decorated. Okay, this is the laundry area. It's not that well organized right now, just because like we really want to put like a thing down, just like be able to fold stuff, so probably like a wood slab or something, which will be quite handy with laundry. And then I have all my baskets and bins. These are also some laundry bins, just if like I'm doing laundry and people come over and I kind of want to put it out of the way. Um, and these are, I will get back to you on that. It's a really great story. I just cannot remember the name right now. But yeah, so it's just kind of like a little laundry room. It's quite nice though how they're not one on top of each other. So you do have room to like fold stuff. This is all the storage for like jackets. 
Um, yeah, so there's a bunch of them in here. I thought Harrison's were going to fit, but clearly I have a lot of jackets. So they're just mine, unfortunately. This is just the other bathroom just for guests and all that. It's super simple, nothing too extreme, but basically just like super beige colors and all the rugs, everything is in here from HomeSense, which I love. Room. He really enjoys fly tying, which is just basically fishing stuff. I will show you guys in a second here, but I organized all of his colors and all of it just in this box, which is actually cardboard, but it fits things perfectly. So it's been great. These are all prints that I actually got from Etsy, which were a really good deal. So I will also put those down below. And then I just sprayed them with Hobby Lobby, which is another amazing store that I do really like. This cabinet is also from Hobby Lobby, which is great because as many of you know, guys have a lot of stuff that um, just is very unorganized a lot of the time. So these are all separate drawers, which is great. And then it just like goes bigger. So that was really nice. These are all Harrison's clothes that aren't really that pretty that he works with or goes fishing. So yeah, it's just like, I don't know, a bunch of, he has a ton of socks. I am hopefully gonna like organize the baseball hats kind of going down here or something. But yeah, this is mainly kind of, kind of his boring stuff. Not really that interesting. This is the second bedroom. As you can see, I kind of turned it more into like a beauty, like getting ready area. As you can see here in the second bedroom, there's a random sink. I actually grew up my entire life with having a sink in my bedroom, which was the best thing ever, just because I had a brother and he did not want to see all my makeup. So my mom installed them all in her house, which is awesome. And then when I moved here, I'm actually a hairdresser. And I was going to have this second bedroom was kind of going to be where I do people's hair and all that. And then I ended up opening a shop, which has been amazing. So since they already had the plumbing, I just decided, you know what? I'm used to having a sink in my room, so I might as well put one in here. And then Harrison doesn't need to see all my makeup or getting ready because guys really don't need to see that stuff. All in these drawers is basically uh, all of my hair stuff. So, and then underneath here is just kind of some miscellaneous. And all in here is all of my makeup. I will do a detailed view if you guys want one. So just please comment if you do. And then on this, all of this is my wonderful shoes. These are all Ikea, which have been amazing. Especially too, like I personally like to see my shoes, but a lot of people don't, which is fine. So on these, if you ever want, I could always put doors to close them and all that, which is all Ikea, it's just like separate things. But I, I really like how you can like see them all and it's all like organized in different sections. So my computer station. So I basically have like the cutest little printer. It's an HP Tango and I just got it. Um, and it prints great and it's the cutest little size. So that's been great. Then on my computer here, I just kind of like do all like editing or anything else I need to do. And then all of these, I could not resist. They're from the container store. I believe you can get them on Amazon as well. But I love the acrylic and also like the uh, gold. This is my hat wall. Um, these things down below are from Ikea, which are great. Just so when you actually want to wear a hat, it's just not a screw hanging out. So I will link those as well. You can get them, I believe, in wood, black, and the white actually just came out, which has been great for my play. These are all my purses and backpacks and everything. Um, so all of these are also from Ikea. They like pull out and stuff with all your bags. These acrylic containers I love, and uh, they're from the container store, so they're just, they come in two different sizes. And one's kind of like for clutches and then purses, but they fit a lot of things, which has been really, really handy. And yeah, I can do like a more like overview in another video, but that's kind of just the basics. This is my favorite room, the bedroom. So this is all from different places, all of my bedding and everything. Uh, I would definitely recommend this. But it's basically like a headboard, which is kind of like a DIY headboard. 
So basically all of this is actually um, wallpaper and then we just framed it in which you can just do at like Home Depot or any sort of like hardware store like that. And then all these pillows when I was slowly like accumulating things I just came across a lot of different ones. I really like the textures while still having like the plain colors in the place. So these silk pillowcases are awesome also from HomeSense and then these ones are Restoration Hardware. The other two are actually just from HomeSense. Um, I can also, if anyone wants to comment below and tell me any more details they would uh, need, I would be more than happy to give them. These side tables are actually worked out perfectly. We found them our move-in day and they were just from HomeSense, but I loved the gold and kind of like the texture in this to go with all the different pillows. And then over here is kind of like this bench. This is also from Wayfair. It was actually the perfect size so we didn't have like a blank space. When I ordered it in, my mom actually tried to convince me to return it because she thought it was too yellow. But um, I personally like the look of all different kind of shades of like the same tones going together. So I'm really glad we kept it and tried it because when the sun's coming in, it kind of just like looks like a beige. And then above we have vaulted ceilings, which is amazing. We're just currently in the midst of trying to find a ladder to hang this light, which I thought was really neat. So these are amazing just because obviously in the bedroom when you wake up, you really don't want to be staring at all of your clothes. So we decided to put these mirror doors on them, which are great. You can get like any sort of other doors, but we really like the mirror just to bring like more light to the room and make it look a lot bigger. So all in here is basically just all my workout stuff and all of these pull out as well. In the second one, we decided to hide a TV which has been great, kind of bad because I stay up all night watching TV shows on Netflix, but it's really been nice. And then kind of just all in here is like electronics just so it's out of the way. And these containers inside are all from the container store, which is one of my favorite stores. Unfortunately, we don't have them where I live, but I would really recommend online or anything. We installed this barn door on this side basically to take from like the closet to go into the bedroom, uh, which has been awesome. So welcome to my closet. So over in the second part of the bedroom is actually just all my clothes, which I love clothes. So basically over here, I've tried to kind of organize my like color section. I wear a lot of black and white, but those are kind of just like all hidden in the other ones over there. So all of this cabinet has been amazing. It's all from Ikea. I had a client who's hair I do who helped me like basically like navigate through Ikea is a little crazy and basically find all of it for me. And then it's really quite neat too because even though there's like obviously like a corner in the room, they even have like cabinets where like it's meant for the corners. So it's super like easy to use and you can either like pay for them to make your entire closet or you can get a lovely fiance like myself who maybe wants to kill me at them but he built it all for me. Um, yeah, so kind of just I can go through a whole nother video if you guys would like. Just please comment or subscribe and I would love to make more video videos. And then this area is super nice. It's just kind of like a seating area. Just, you know, if we like have like just Harrison and I or anyone that comes over, any of my friends. And then I really like these chairs. They actually um, pull together and they make a bed just in case we have anyone like staying here or like friends. Perfect. This is my vanity area, which is like our master bathroom. So as you can see, a lot of gold accents. I personally like silver and gold together, so it wasn't really a problem. We already had like the silver taps and everything. And then this is kind of my whole area. And just kind of like underneath here is like stuff that I need for like everyday purposes. And then this is Harrison's. I really liked his and hers bath mats, except for the only problem was that I kept finding ones in like blues and pinks and I really wanted something super simple so I would recommend these they're just from Amazon and I really like like how subtle they are and then over on this, this is the bathtub area I love having baths so this has been super convenient and nice and then having a lot of storage in a condo is not the greatest so I had to pick like where to put certain things so for like hampers and stuff we actually just store them behind our bathtub they're really great though because they're all on wheels, so they're just two different sizes and I think they actually have three, but I personally like these sizes and these are all from home sets. This area here is kind of just like, I don't know, like storage for towels and stuff, which my mom actually put in 
and it has been amazing. So basically, these towels I really recommend. I personally just love the color, but they are from the Bay. And then our shower is awesome. It's a really, really good size. Uh, there's like two shower heads and there's like a little like seating area. And I thought the shower heads were actually personally used just, you know, for two people, but my mom put them in uh, to actually clean the shower as she has built three houses and she knows all the tips and tricks. So I'm slowly catching on to that. And then I will bring out some of my like really nice like containers I like for putting all like shampoos and conditioners in. So as you can see here, I, my boyfriend thought I was crazy putting containers into containers, but I like when they all match. So I love J. Beverly shampoo and I do sell that, but I put them all into these white and black containers and then all three of these and this is actually from uh, Muji and unfortunately I don't have an online store, but there's a lot of stores like worldwide and like I will like uh, post photos down below so you guys will make sure to be able to get them.